You've got mail. Yes. open this box so hard good morning guys what's going on so i've been trying to do like a rhyme for this morning <laughs> i i have two packages we're gonna open today and i was like all right let's do a let's do a rhyme i was like it's it was the night before christmas and all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse except for tyler as he lay there with his eyes wide open knowing that he had a package the following day that he had to open and i was like that is so good yes we're using i'm like dude you just rhymed open with open never mind we're not going to use that but apparently we did it's entertainment enjoy all right <clears throat> first one these are pretty interesting so this one my unboxing knife for the day here let's get you some of this is my kershaw launch 10 yeah i like it a lot all right let's go Beep. that was convenient that cut very well oh we need another unboxing knife all right your unboxing knife for the day is the kaiser guru <laughs> oh we need another no, i'm just kidding yeah, this is interesting. Kind of cool. Wait, does this have any information on it? I want to show you guys this guy's stuff. So this was a... Okay, I'll just show you. Not, I'll say the name. This was a... Uh, something, a random situation that I picked up on Reddit. Kind of like the ProTech Rock guy where I had some funds in my PayPal account. And like whenever you do that, you're like, I gotta spend it instead of saving it for something. So this came up. And I figured I needed this stuff anyways. <laughs> oh, that's cool. He has my name on it with a little card. That's cute. Okay. So I'll let you guys look at this. I'm going to look at this card. It is kind of cute that he has a little card with it. That's awesome. It looks like his business card in like a tiny little envelope. No. He personalized stuff too. He says, Tyler, thank you so much for your support. Kurt. Okay. Here, I'll let you guys look at that real quick. Here, let's look at the card. This guy's really professional. So, at customleatherandpen.com, here's his Kurt Bennett, KurtPennett.com, Instagram, at customleatherandpen. And then it says, Tyler, thank you so much for your support. Kurt, very, very cool. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to see if this guy wants to design me something like a mat or something for the channel uh, as a background. I think that would be fun. But let's take a look at this. I needed a new wallet, and he made these skinny wallets. And this is like, this is, this is kind of badass, dude. So it's only got three pockets, which I don't know who needs more than three pockets in their wallet these days. Uh, very cool. I was the first one to buy any that day, so I got, like, full pick of what he had, and I love these colors. This is, like, a rose. I forgot what it's called. I forgot what the color's called itself, but, uh, it's, like, this dark red leather with this light color stitching, and then he has, this is a, like, a keychain, and really nice. This is, like, a really nice piece of hardware, really nice keychain with it. For your keys yes a keychain for your keys but it matches your wallet now a handmade leather wallet yes it's not like a huge leather wallet but i mean it's a nice handmade leather wallet plus a keychain with the hardware it's cost around 70 bucks um i'm not i don't know how to judge that or anything i'm happy with it let's just put it that way uh i mean i used to go get my wallets from like the covered bridge festival for five bucks for those fake leather ship this is cool. It's like made from somebody who goes and just, I don't know if it's their hobby on the side or if that's their actual business full time, but he puts these up on Reddit. I mean, he had at knife swap, I think it might've been EDC exchange. I don't remember, <laughs> but he had like 
seven to ten of these to sell. So uh, you clearly know that he does them in batches. And like I said, it's just, it's really, really cool. So I'm excited to swap my stuff over and we'll be using that from now on. Um, for the record, this is my current wallet. Oh yeah, look at that. Totally on the wallet from like, in the, I don't know, a year ago. But yeah, this is my current wallet. I need to go through. I can liquidate a lot of this stuff anyways. And we don't really need it all. All right. So the next one though is a knife and this is a big one. Um, it might not be a big one in the world because I didn't hear too much about it, but on Instagram, I heard quite a bit about it. Uh, I was super stoked on this. I Oh, that was dumb. I love this design. Let me focus on this package. This thing just almost ripped off the finger because I'm an idiot. Let me focus a little bit here. Why don't you guys stop talking to me for just one second? Jesus. Okay. So... <clears throat> I saw this on Instagram and I jumped on it. It was a drop. I believe there was 200 pieces to this drop. Um, I knew the name, but I couldn't figure out. Uh, I, I, I didn't remember what knives he had, but it's like a super popular name. Okay, so I'm going to repeat some of the knives. The Centros. The Hadros. The Silax. The Mini Archbishop. All right. Let that resonate for a second. If you guessed anybody else other than Dylan Mallory, you were wrong. So this is a Mallory design. Um, really cool M, by the way. I love that logo. Um, I think that's absolutely awesome. So this is a Mallory design that I've been pretty excited to get my hands on. And it was like one of the drops that he did that he just, like, it, he did the drop and everybody got on it and he shipped like three weeks later. I was irritated because he sent me tracking info and I, I shouldn't have been irritated, but he sent me tracking info, right? And like for two weeks, it said awaiting delivery to post office. And it's kind of like if he hadn't sent me the tracking info, I would have forgot that I ordered this. But because that happened, I'm like, where the hell is it? <laughs> and I messaged him. I might have pissed him off too because I messaged him and he's like, I've been updating through Instagram. And I, I don't check people's Instagrams. Like, I literally don't go on Instagram to check anything. I'll scroll through the first 10 feeds, and then I move on with my life. It's not that I'm cooler than that or anything. I just, I get into so much other stuff. It's like, I don't really care to go on there, you know? Unless I'm, like, in a scrolly flip-up mood, right, where you want to check out some knives. So I was like, sorry, dude, I missed it, and I checked it all out. So we kind of started chatting a little bit back and forth, and then he was telling me how he got sick, like, right before all this. And, and he had to hold the buckle in shipping. It was, like, ridiculous. Um, some of it his fault, but it's, like, easy stuff to, to, to mess up. And then he's like, I was sick, but now we got him out. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. I was like, so you kind of laced all your knives with COVID before you shipped. And it was a total sarcastic joke. Uh, but he never responded after that. <laughs> we were going back and forth. And he literally just stopped talking to me. I'm like, oh. I didn't think it was that serious. Maybe you're one of those people that take it that serious. But all right, all right, all right, moving on. So this is the Forest with a PH. Um, I'm pretty sure Hadros, Centros, um, they're not, it's not something to do with just the Os at the end. I want to say there's some mythology behind it. Uh, but I will, in the review of this, I will go over all of that. So this is number 178 of 200. Uh, very cool. So what he did here, you can tell, is that he had this card made up, right? And this is all pre-made. But then he would put the number and actually still sign it. I think that's really, really cool. This is, this is, ah, this is really cool. This blade shape really spoke to me. That's part of the reason why we got this. But this is the Faris or Forus. So there's a titanium backspacer. I believe it's stainless steel hardwood. Look at that pivot. That pivot's interesting. It's like a little button. It's like popped out just a little bit with this logo. That's cool, man. And then it's got titanium. It's not really popped out. I think what it is is a titanium uh, collar going around it. So this is some shred carbon fiber. Looks really good. Not seeing hardly any voids yet, so that's good. The spacing on the back. Let's see something here. 
It's got like a carbon fiber strand that was hanging over the backspacer that looked a lot worse than any issue. Like there was no issue in my opinion with it, but it looked a lot worse. And then we got a milled titanium clip that is inset and with a hidden screw because the screw's coming up from the back side. This is a liner lock. This is cool, man. All right, and this thing, oh, by the way, hold on. I don't know how much this thing, I, I always do this anticipation for myself so you guys deal with it. I really want to open it, but it like, I don't want to take away anything from the moment. So I like always take my time opening the knife, but this thing's super light. 3.01 ounces. Now, the fact that it's 3.01 ounces, but it feels so light, tells me that the balance on this thing's stupid. All right, we're ready for this. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So this is the forest. The blade shape looks a little bit shorter with a little bit more belly than I had originally thought, which is fine because I thought this thing was going to be like, Again, I don't look at specs, but I thought this thing was going to have crazy long skinny vibes. Really nice tumble finish on here. This looks really nice. Again, S35VN blade. Ergonomically, this feels really good. This feels pretty good. This feels good. This knife is really cool. Um, I'm excited to have this knife. Oh, look at that. Look at that. No back and forth. No up and down, and it's already dropped shut. Say what? Oh, no, just the first one. It was just like, just the first one's dropped shut. So this is super easy to access, super easy to flick. I have one problem with it already, but it's not a huge problem. You really can't access it with your thumb that well. Not a big deal. I can't, like, I have a hard time believing this is freaking tight because it, the action is just stupid on it already. Well done. Do have a little, tiny little stop pin back here. That's interesting. This is writing on bearings. Um, my one issue with this so far is the access to this liner. Now it's not terrible. Okay, so obviously you've been seeing me do it without fail, but I've actually had to think to get in there because it's not like a normal liner. Do I have? Ooh, where's my sock sheet? <laughs> Okay, so here's your Wisakshi. Your normal liner, you can access the whole liner right here. So it really doesn't matter at what point you get into it at, as long as you get into it, right? So here's that. I can do it. I could do it down here. Oop, that was dumb, but you can, right? So you could do all that, and you could really access it from there. And it's it's a whole bar itself. These are so recessed, which is really cool, right? But you can only access it from like a half a thumb spot up here. So when you're accessing it. I literally have to like push up and in to get it to go. Now, uh, it, seriously, guys, not an issue for me. I know some people make a bigger deal out of accessing liners. I really don't care. But being a reviewer, you kind of pointed out. Um, this knife is fucking badass. <laughs> uh, yeah, this thing is really, really cool. Uh, the Centros was my first CJRB. <clears throat> And I didn't like it because it was a little skinny. And he has a lot of designs that are a little skinny. Uh, look at that blade stock, by the way. Holy smokes. Looks like that of the QSP Penguin, right? QSP Penguin, I believe, is coming in at 115,000. So don't quote me on that, though. Blade stock is stupid. Oh man, this is really, really cool. I really, really enjoy this, guys. This is this is badass. This was a cool thing to wake up to this morning. Action is almost drop shut out of the freaking bag. Once is that what that tells you is that once it breaks in even more, this thing's just gonna whip shut. It's just gonna be dumb. And what I really like about this is this blade is such a working style blade, right? Like the like you're really this is really comfortable right here. I'm I'm feeling locked in. I'm feeling like it's pretty damn comfortable. I wouldn't give it a 10. I'd give it like a nine and a half, right? But part of that's because this blade is so thin. I can really feel that as you're choked up. But again, not a big deal. So back here, this feels pretty good. And then you you got a lot of room for this fine detailed tip work. Oh my goodness, guys. And the action on it's stupid. Let's check the centering. 
Centering is perfectly centered. Again, I fail to believe that there's no back and forth, but there is none. Let's do that new check that everybody's doing. The pivot seems to have pretty good uh, uh, sizing. Yeah, I mean, it's just really, really well done. And I forgot who we had these done by. I'm going to have to look into that for you. Clearly, it was made in China, and that's all right. Is the blade sterile? The blade is sterile. Look at that. There's not even a blade steel on there. Dude, very cool, man. This is a really, really cool drop to jump on. I'm super glad I got this. Let's check some uh, sharpness of this guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, you you killed it. Whoever you sent this to, whatever OEM did this, and then your guys just like after checks on this, absolutely stupid. I meant no offense by the COVID comment, by the way. If I offended you or you just got sidetracked either way. But, yeah, this is stupid. Stupid, wicked, slicey. Let's see. Out of the box. Just popping hairs off my arm. Now this, okay. So this is a big, bold statement. Um, and it's hard to get your hands on, so the availability of this kind of sucks. This is a knife that, in my opinion, is a fantastic, fantastic candidate if I were to go counter brands to go after the Wii Esprit. Now, the reason behind that, some of you guys might be going, whoa, whoa, huge jump. So the reason behind it is, is the blade is so ultra perfect for EDC use. The size, while it seems a little bit bigger, it's really not. The weight is stupid, right? Um, it's just an over, and it's very, very well done quality wise. So to me, like this, this does scream like I'm a really good EDC, right? Just like my Wii Esprit, uh, which we started the whole thing about. We started the whole King of the Hill about. This might be the first challenger to the Wii Esprit. Um, and I don't think it's going to be going down quietly if that's the case, you know, because this, this is really, really good. It's, it's not a honeymoon phase situation. The access to the liner, as I said, kind of sucks. But everything else about it's really, really good. The blade shape is absolutely phenomenal. This is just a really good design. Uh, kudos, man. Just kudos. And you're getting everything out of it. And guess what? For S35VN, this beautiful carbon fiber, I don't think these liners are titanium, but we can find out. Let's find out together. Bring the more you know. Now the titan the liners are definitely steel. But the pocket clip isn't the collar isn't those are those are titanium. Your hardware is going to be steel and then you got carbon fiber. So how much do you think this guy costs? Yeah, it came in at like 175 bucks. So to paint the picture on why that's cool is because this was done by a guy kind of on his own. I think this was his first drop of his own stuff. And he dropped 200 knives. And he didn't jack up the price like crazy. Like, you got a lot for your buck. This is like, this is what I would sp expect out of like a Wii or something like that as far as, you know, what was done to the knife versus the price. Speaking of. In a very close comparison, here is your Wii Sakshi. Similar carbon fiber. You do have titanium liners, but you have a 20 CV blade and then a titanium pocket clip, I think. But this was like a really, really, really good knife, right? Um, maybe that maybe this would be better compared with the Wii Sakshi. But uh, so the Wii Sakshi is around the same price. Now, yeah, 20 CV for under blah blah blah, whatever. I'm just saying, like, you're getting a lot of the same stuff for the same price for somebody who only did like a small drop kudos to him for not trying to suck you guys dry as far as money and us as far as price goes to all right i've gone on long enough i'm gonna go carry this guy super stoked on this guy this guy is awesome uh like i said hopefully i didn't insult dylan mallory he's not like medford i would rather not uh, uh do that and I, I think to everybody else, I think a lot of the other reviewers are relatively close with the guy. So you'll probably get some more personal stances from them. But from me, this thing is awesome. He was really responsive in talking until you mentioned COVID-laced knives. 
And he was like, that's not funny. But uh, other than that, my name is Tyler. This is Everyday EDC. You guys stay sharp, stay safe, and have a great freaking rest of your day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah.